evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Game 3 of the Golden State Collegiate Baseball League Championship Series between the Top Speed Baseball Team and the San Francisco Seagulls. This is your announcer, Dion, bringing you this winner-take-all Game 3. So this is it. The winner of this game gets all the marbles, baby. The Speedos will bat second since they're the home team, while the Seagulls will bat first since they're the, the away team. Looks like the umpires who are about to officiate today's game. Behind the plate, calling balls and strikes Mr. Ron McGeath. At first base, Mr. Michael Ra. At third base, Mr. Will Ford. Contacted. 2-2, two, two, it is single ground ball down in the hole, base set to left field for Guardino. He'll stop there at first with a leadoff base set. Well, the 1-0 pitch from Hubble, it is single line drive to left center field. It's going to be a base hit. I guess left fielder picked, had to pick it off on a hop. So Bon Temple looking to live up to his role as a cleanup batter. Jalen. Now bang number 10, Jalen Lawson. Jalen Lawson. Just think about Jalen is in jail and... Lawson is in He Broke the Law. <laughs> well, I know it's a, a strange analogy, but <laughs> you get the idea. Here's a stretch by Hubble. Here comes the pitch to Jalen. It is sort of line over second. That's going to be a base hit to right center. It should at least get a run home. Here comes Guardino to score. The throw comes in, so the trail runner has to stop at third, that being Lecce. So scoring is Guardino, so the Speedos draw our first blood courtesy of a two-out RBI single by Lawson. Allowed a run to come across courtesy of the Jayla Lawson RBI single a moment ago. But there's a force play on first as well as second. There's always a force play on first. Here comes the stretch by Hubble. It's pitched a nice so line drive in the hole. Base head to right field. So jogging in to score is Litchie. So speed also on top to love as Lawson stops on second. Macy Holdsworth steps into the batter's box. This is the... Uh, hunting duck. Well, basically, so you're saying it's either Donald or Daffy. Okay, so basically, oh, oh and next pitch. So Long deep drive! Oh, baby, that is airmail special! Man, did Jalen hit that one a million miles. Four nothing Speedos here in the third. A two out, two run tater. Oh, man. As soon as the ball jumped off Jalen's back, as a matter of fact, I don't think that ball has even landed yet. That is an encore of what he did at Albert Park on July 5th. Dude, I see that ball. It's still floating in the air. That's the spirit. Now you're getting the hang of things. Here comes the motion by Ramsey. The 2-1 pitch. So a line drive in the gap in right center field. That's going to fall in for a base hit toward the 370 mark. Short ops the fence, there goes Jelly chugging around for second. He's going to stop there. A one out, two baser for Reed Jelly. Now number 10, Jared Bannister. Of course, that rendition of Whitney Houston doing the Star Spangled Banner before the first game today, that brought a tear to my eye. That was amazing. The pitch, swing a line drive in the right center field, the same spot as before. Center short up the right center field wall. Here comes Shelly to score, and Bannister stops the second, so the Seagulls are on the board. 3-2, and a swung on Sky to right center. This is going to be in the gap, baby. It's going to fall in for a base hit. There goes Ryan chugging around for a second. The ball hits the ball, so it's a double for Ryan. Nice way for him to stop on second with the two-baser. It's Al. They're all named Al. <laughs> of course, that actually worked for one American League umpire. That would be for... One and out of the count. <clears throat> one and out. As it's a uh, runner on second base and Tyler Ryan with one away here in the top half of the sixth inning. Seagull is down, not out. Here comes the 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing a line drive off the glove of the first baseman and down the right field line. Here comes Ryan to score. There goes Hyatt chugging around for second. He's going to make a sliding with an RBI double. Here comes Spitch to Volpatti. It is inside 1 0. We're in the bottom of the six. Speedos on top 4 to 2, and they are on the offense here. Here's the pitch from the South Dodgers. So long drive deep to left field. This has got some carry. That ball is air mail special. Vincent Volpatti deposits the one out solo shot. 5 to 2 in favor of top speed.
Still one out. Here comes that Guardino to the bat. Zach Guardino comes up to bat now for top speed. All right, well, still one out as Guardino in the box facing DeRocher. Here's the 1 0. It is swinging the sky to center field. It's going to be a base hit. Here comes Ernie. He's going to have to stop. Oh, he's going to try to score. He's going to be out. I reckon. Oh, he's a dead duck at the plate, I think. Oh, safe! How about this? The catcher dropped the throw. Oh, wow. That was some defense. Um, Stafford on the mound for the Speedos. Here comes the pitch to Barry. It is inside corner. Strike one. Oh, and one the count. Here we go. So the Speedos are three outs away from obtaining their third consecutive league title. Here comes the 0-1 pitch from Stafford. Swing a sky-high fly to right center field. The right field. Oh, this is deep. Oh, way back. It's going to short up. Oh, it's going to bounce over the fence. Ground rule double for Barry. Here comes the pitch to McGrew. Swing a line drive on the ground. That's going to be out. No, oh, through. So runners at the corner. So stopping on third is Barry. The throw comes into second. Reed Jelly. Reed Jelly up. So the Seagull is down to their last chance as, looks like timeout called, I guess. Uh, guess it appears that Drew Downing trots out to the mound to talk with Paulus, just encouraging him to retire the batter. And, and here's a stretch. The one strike pitch to Jelly. He's swung on a high chopper over the mound. This, over, this is going to be over his head. He has Oh, it's right through the wickets. Jared Bannister up to bat now. First and third, still two outs. So the Seagulls have the tying run in the box. Here we go. Six to three speedos. Here's Fallis ready. Here comes the pitch to Bannister. Say strike on the slider 0-1. Speedos are one strike away from obtaining the Holy Grail. They have Jared Bannister standing in the way. Timeout. I guess there was a ball that came from the right field bullpen. I guess the first base umpire, that being uh, being Michael Raw, threw that ball back to the bullpen on the right side. One strike on Bannister. Comes Fallis, he's ready. Oh, one pitch, it is swing and a mess. Now the Seagull is down to the last bullet, as Hawk Harrelson will say. One more strike will ice the title for top speed. First and third, two down here in the top of the ninth. One more strike. Here we go. Ball is ready. 0-2. Outside, ball one. One and two. So Seagulls down to their last strike, down to the last bullet. Ball is ready. One and two. Downstairs, close. Two balls and two strikes on... On the Seagulls cleanup man, Jared Bannister. Two and two. Here we go. First and third, two outs. Tying run at the plate. Here comes Fallis' offering. Swing the high chopper to second. This is going to be it. Gayla Fields at throws first, and the Sabinos obtain all the marbles. The whole enchilada once again belongs to Top Speed Baseball as the Speedos successfully defend their Golden State Collegiate Baseball League title. Three in a row, way to go.